to my channel. In today's look, I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine using the Too Faced Peach Palette for this peachy, nice, glowy look. Um, this is the type of look that I always go to whenever I want to do like an everyday look. So hence, this is why it's called everyday look. But if you guys want to see how I get this look, then just keep on watching. But before you do, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. I really do appreciate it when you guys do subscribe to me. Again, this is my first makeup tutorial, so please be a little bit easy on me in the comments. But um, I don't mind criticism or I, I honestly don't care but I'm just very excited that this is my first makeup tutorial I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as I enjoyed filming it the lighting may not be the best I know I'm coming off I can just see myself in the mirror I'm coming off like a little bit of red but hopefully you guys do enjoy this makeup tutorial again please hit the subscribe button down below be subscribed to me hit the notification button so that way you know when I will be uploading more videos but again, if you guys want to see how to get this peachy, everyday look, then just keep on watching. Mwah. Thanks, guys. Okay, so first, we're going to be taking my primer, which is the Too Faced Hangover. See right there? We're going to use that to primer face. Now, my face combination, I don't have acne-prone skin. I have acne, like, around here this area and in this area I also get pretty oily in my t-zones so this kind of helps me with it it doesn't make my skin feel dry or anything like that it just kind of it has like a tacky texture kind of feeling um, so that way I know like my fun my foundation is gonna stick and then I just kind of put it all over the face I use like a pump and a half for this. And I know, my, I don't have, like, I'm missing the thumbnails, so ignore that. And then I'm looking behind me in a mirror, so that way I know, like, I'm in focus, the setup. So next, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation in the shade 205 natural beige oh yeah my beauty blender if I can focus there we go so that's what I use for my foundation um it says here that it's good for normal to dry skin but like I said I get oily in my t-zones mainly around my nose and for me I like to wear foundation like I'm not wearing any foundation and this foundation has actually worked for me very well so, and it has SPF 15, so I really like it. So I'm going to put it on the bottom of my beauty blender. My beauty blender is dirty. I should have washed my beauty blender before I did this video. Kind of put this much of foundation. If that's a lot, oh. And then first what I do is I dot it. I had some on my hand. I dot it around my face. Oh. And then I just kind of pat it in. And down to the neck. Now, honestly, I really don't know if it's my shade or not. It probably isn't at first to you guys. But to me, this shade has been working because I'm pretty dark on my arms. But, hello. So I kind of just make sure I get in there. shouldn't have the mirror blocking the camera. <laughs> and I just bring it all the way down. Now it may seem like 
I'm doing this for five minutes, but I just want to make sure that everything is set in place. Then next, I'm going to take everybody's favorite concealer in the world, and it is Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in there you go in the shade Light Medium Honey. I have a lot of things to say about this concealer. One thing is that I did not want to like it because I know it was really big in everybody and their mom's makeup drawer. But I do have a dupe for it, and I want to test it out in the next video. If that's the video that you guys want to see, just leave a comment down below. Let me know. But I think the concealer, the one that I used to use, that was my holy grail concealer, to me personally, this was a dupe for it. It's a drugstore one. But if you guys want to see it, let me know in the comments down below. But I'm going to go ahead and take this concealer, and literally when I open it and I take it out, all this product that is in the that is on the brush that's all that I literally use so I'm just gonna put it underneath my eyes and I like to do um, my face first before I do my eyes because to me if I do my eyes first and then my face I feel like I'm gonna mess up on what I'm gonna do for the eye so I don't know but I like to do my face first a lot of people are different and then I take a little bit on my eyes then I'm gonna take my beauty blender my dirty beauty blender that I should have washed before the video and blend it in I'm really trying hard not to have the mirror like this in front of you guys, so I apologize. Now I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, this is way too light for you, but it honestly works for me once everything sets in and everything oxidizes anyways, well, for me personally, but I don't mind it. If it works for me, it works for me, you know? Then I'll take like the bottom of the beauty blender and just kind of blend it all in. Then I'll go back again on this side, do the same thing. blended in okay um, I now for my everyday look I don't normally put um, concealer down the bridge of my nose the forehead and the chin and the upper lip just because this is more of like an everyday look and for me personally I don't do that but for in the next video definitely I will do that for you guys but for now I just kind of want to show you the everyday look that I use on myself so um, next we're going to go in with translucent powder and I'm using airspun loose powder in this shade translucent I know they have another one like a high definition one but again I don't like to I don't like to have the feeling of knowing that I'm wearing so much powder and foundation I like it to feel more natural for me so I take the, the top of the air spun and whatever is left over in this cotton, I kind of just put it in there and it gets all over the place. So when you use this type of translucent powder, wear a shirt that you're not going to wear for the day because literally it gets everywhere. Like it's already all over my pants right now. So then I'll just take whatever is left over in here, pour it in here. 
and that's how much loose powder I have. Then I'm going to take my e.l.f. powder brush. Oh, kind of fast. E.l.f. powder brush. And just tap off the excess of the loose powder and kind of just go over. And I'm not necessarily doing like circular motion. I'm kind of just patting it all in so that way it sets. Just all over the face and then along my neck. It kind of has like that, that grandma perfume type of smell, like the one that your grandma used to wear. This is the smell that it has. It's very light. It's not too powerful. It's not too strong. Uh, <clears throat> I'm like choking on it. <laughs> but eventually, uh, the smell will go away. So, but again, it's not powerful. And whenever I take pictures, I've noticed that I don't have a white cast. So nothing is coming back. It's just like my foundation and my concealer. So that's what I like about it. Make sure everything is set. So this is the base of the face that I kind of have going on. And I keep the translucent powder on there. I don't put it back in. Um, because I'm going to use it to do my contour. But first, I'm going in with my eyelid primer. And this is from e.l.f. in the color Sheer. This is the eyeshadow primer that I use. And to me, honestly, it's like the dupe of the um, Urban Decay primer one. I forgot the name of it. But this is what I use. And it makes my eyeshadow last all day or all night so then i just kind of put a little bit on the lid well, it doesn't even look a little bit but <laughs> i put some on my lid and this eyeshadow primer seriously i think it's like it ranges from like a dollar to maybe like two bucks or something like that i don't remember but you can get this at target or at cvs i don't know but it is the best eyeshadow primer that I've used on a budget. Then I just kind of put it all over the lid. Some people put eyeshadow primer underneath your lid, underneath their lid, but I personally don't. I don't really do that. It does have like a watery consistency to it, but when you let it dry for a little bit, um, it, it, it does work really well. So next, for my everyday look, I use, this is my holy grail, the number one eyeshadow palette that I always, always reach for for an everyday look. And if you wanna see a night look with this palette, let me know, but this is the Too Faced Peach Palette. Everybody and their mom has this one too. Honestly, I do recommend it. Even though, yes, the smell is amazing, but the eyeshadow colors, ugh, the eyeshadow colors, you can literally use it from daytime to nighttime look. I truly love this eyeshadow palette. It's been my holy grail eyeshadow palette for, I don't even know how long I've had it. I probably had it for a long time. Then I'm going to be taking just a any type of eyeshadow brush. I don't unfortunately have Morphe, so I just kind of go with whatever eyeshadow brush I have. But again, this look that I'm going to show you guys is my everyday look. If I want something just fast on the go, this is what I use. So in the peach palette, I'm trying to, I'm going to take the color Okay, so in the color, in the peach palette, I'm going to take the color, this one, puree, 
can see it in all my lighting. So this color, puree, and I'm going to use it in the crease area. So I'm going to be taking my shadow, and then I'm just going to take it right here in the crease. Ever so light blue. If you can see. Same thing with the other eye, puree from the peach palette. to the crease as you can see then in the peach palette I am going to take summer yum this color right there and also put it in my crease just to define it just a little bit and the colors that I'm using brings out my color of eye. I have uh, brown eyes, but I also have a little bit of uh, green in it. So it kind of brings out my eye color a little bit more, which I really like. Okay. Then... I'm going to take Candid Peach right there and I'm going to put it almost a little bit to where the lid area is but also where the crease is and just kind of blend it right there. As you can tell, I'm still using the same eyeshadow brush, so. Then the last eyeshadow is just peach, this color right there. And I'm going to take that onto the lid area. Now to blend the harshness of the crease so that way it's not too harsh, I'm going to take a big blending brush and with that, with the Lorac Pro Palette, I use the shade Light Contour. Oh, I think I stabbed it. I use the shade Light, this one. And I go over it right here so that way it blends the color in and it doesn't look so harsh. I think you can hear my brush. 
blending in my eyeshadow. Like it sounds like it hurts, but it doesn't, honestly. <laughs> it's so funny. So next, the colors that we used in the peach palette. First, I'm going to use the highlighting color in the shade Nectar, which is this one right here. Nectar. And I'm going to take a little pencil brush like this. Um, you can use whatever pencil brush that you have. Honestly, I had this for a really, really long time. Um, I'm going to use the shade Nectar first to do my highlighting on my brow bone. Same thing on the other side. And then for my inner, inner tear duct. Next, I'm going to take, I'm going to combine Puree and Summer Yum. And I'm going to put it on my lower lash line. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'm going to take can, um, just peachy, not candy peach, just peachy. And I'm going to run it on my lower lash line as well. Not all the way, just like in the inner third of my lash line. See, so, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. So now we're done with the peach palette. Now we're going to be doing the brows. My eyebrow story, like every girl back in the day, they would over tweeze their eyebrows. I took probably a good few months for my eyebrows to grow like this. And, I would, and I've been maintaining them ever since. And this eyeshadow, well not eyeshadow, um, eyebrow kit that I use, I've used this eyebrow kit since I was probably 19, 20 years old and I am 27 years old. And I've used this for years and it is the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I think it's around $6, I believe, no more than $3 to $6. I don't know if you guys can see that. Focus. Well, it doesn't want to focus. But I use this. There we go in the shade dark and I go in with my angled brush and I know a lot of people do the eyebrow with uh, cleaning up with their concealer I kind of do my eyebrows a little bit more different I like to do my eyebrows as more filling in rather than doing it like sharp and very exaggerating my eyebrows are already has like a nice arch I just like the shape of my eyebrows but I like to fill them in so I go in with the gel and the eyeshadow or the eyebrow shadow the brow shadow and I kind of start at the top and just fill it in if you want to see a full full eyebrow tutorial on how exactly how I do my brows let me know in the comments below as well
and I just kind of clean them up like that like nothing too too crazy because again I don't do like that sharp crazy brow licking thing that everybody does but I just mainly fill them in You guys can see how I do my brows. And then I just kind of go over it again. Now again, eyebrows are not twins, but I feel like my better eyebrow is probably either, like, depending on the day, it could be like my left one or my right one, I don't know, just depending on how they want to feel, because these girls, I'm telling you, they like to fight, try not to look alike. Oh, I forgot to blend this. <laughs> Just blend in the highlight. Okay. So now that we're done with the eyeshadow and the brows, I'm going to go in with mascara. Now my favorite mascara that I use of all, all time is the L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black. I don't know if you can see it. But this is my all-time favorite, favorite mascara. I've used it for years. And I'm more of a lengthening type of girl. I don't wear, like, volumizing mascaras because my lashes are long, so I like to make sure that they're long. Um, like, keep them long. Um, now, I know um, I'm not doing eyeliner at the moment, uh, but in the next time, I will show you guys uh, my eyeliner routine as well. I have, a lot of, I have a lot of video ideas that I do want to show you guys. And I think me doing mascara takes the longest out of all of the makeup that I, like eyeshadow and eyebrow and all that stuff mascara is the one that I like to take my time on because I'm very particular on how I want my lashes to look um, if you guys want to see a mascara routine on how I mainly do it let me know too but I'm very very particular on how I do my mascara That's how my lashes look when I wear mascara with this mascara. I freaking love this mascara. I love the brush. I love that it's not so big and like crazy. It's just like a nice comb brush. I like it personally myself.
I'm trying not to make that mascara face like like that that all the girls do but you can't help it my AC turned on so that's what that noise is And I'm using this setup for now until I figure out how I want to do the videos. But for now, this is what you guys are going to have to deal with. Once I get it to where I like it, so there we go. Put that away. All right. So next, I'm going to contour, and obviously, since I've been using this mirror, this I'm going to do the Lorac Pro Palette contour, and I mainly combine since you already know it's been through hell and back. I combine the medium and um, deep contour and I'm going to take a real technique brush expert face just kind of take these two and the way that I do my contour is I kind of do right here uh, my forehead and then like the three that I know Kim Kardashian does it too but I've been doing it as well and I really like it since I don't do like the contour on my nose um, Especially for like something every day. I don't normally do that. So I just kind of take right here Then I'll go in on the side of my head And then along my jawline So that's how, like a difference from this and then this. Not on cyan, just kidding. <laughs> Alright, then we're gonna go on the other side. Then on the side of the head, a little bit. I bring it kind of them close together. jawline should have worn a headband if I had one okay then I'll I'm going to take um, NYX matte bronzer in the shade I think it's deep deep tan And I use the medium contour from the Lorac uh, Contour Pearl Palette and this as a blush. Because I normally don't wear like pinky blushes on my like everyday type of look. So I just kind of do that on the apples of my cheek with the same brush that I used. Just a little bit, not a lot. I know every girl does this face. But I like the the natural type of look, not so pinky. But for this video, this is how I do my everyday. Alright. 
then, oh, how dare you, BFF? Hold on, girl. I'm filming. Now, I'll take the same translucent powder that I used earlier to set my makeup, and I'm going to take it with my still damped beauty blender, and I'm going to contour right here. I'm going to I'm going to bake and cut the cheeks up. Oh, I felt it going down my shirt. So this is how I bake. Oh, sorry. Now this is when you look like the Joker. Okay. <laughs> um, so then after I'm done, I'm just gonna take the rest of the translucent powder, just put it back. If I were to show you what this looks like on my part, it looks crazy. Like there is translucent powder all over the coffee table. Um, next I'm going to do every girl's favorite part of their face is the highlight girl. So I'm going to take my favorite, favorite, favorite highlight palette, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills collaboration with Nicole Guerrero, which I, backstory to this, I waited until midnight for, I think it was like midnight or I don't know what time it was on, on, my, on my time for, for it to be released online. I literally stayed up to order this palette and I wish I could have ordered two more, but I've used it since and honestly it looks like I barely got into it like do you see all this and I've been using it for quite some time so um, for this look I'm going to take and I'm a highlighter whore honestly I'm going to take kitty cat and forever young But I'm going to take these two and I'm going to highlight. It's my favorite part. I love highlighting. I'm going to highlight right here. Like, girl. My highlight is being very, very disrespectful right now to me. And I kind of don't mind it. Hmm. I'm so obsessed with highlight. Like highlight is, oh, oh, I die. Oh, and I'm taking an angled brush. <laughs> I forgot to say it. I'm just taking any normal angled brush. Like, come on, come on, girl. Bowling on a budget over here. Like, can you guys see that? Like, is is it disrespecting you as much as it's disrespecting me? Because it's being very, very disrespectful right now. Rude. This is what you call rude. That's how you want your highlight to be. Rude. How dare you? How dare you highlight? How dare you be rude and disrespectful to me? Like... How dare you? Then I'm just going to take a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. I don't want to do too much of the pinky on the bridge of my nose. So I take this color, 143, which if you don't know, it means I love you when you had a beeper back in the 90s. That's her signature thing to say for all of her subscribers which I'm very very subscribed shout out to you Nicole girl I freaking love you and then I just take it on the bridge of my nose and then right here on the tip of my nose you gotta do the tip girl <laughs> I don't do normally on on here cuz I mean my lips are pretty pretty nice not too big
disrespectful. Disrespectful. I can't. I can't. I can't with highlight. Okay. Now that we're all done cooking, I'm gonna wipe off the excess. with a spoolie brush like a, or a stippling brush I use it for um, uh, real techniques kind of just do the excess you're gonna see like all the powder I don't know if you can see it like can we say cut a bitch cut a bitch Now that my mascara is still a little bit drying, um, now it's on for the lips. And I'm going to take NYX Lip Liner in the color Nude Beige. If you can see it. But this is the lip liner that I use. And I'm going to line my lips. favorite nude and kind of just fill them in okay then I'm going to take a wet and wild liquid cat suit lipstick in the color nudie patootie okay i wanted to make sure i said it right but this is my favorite favorite go-to nude oh, i'm so obsessed with this and the formula oh so good so good it's like those liquid lipsticks but it doesn't feel super drying like all the normal liquid lipsticks like it feels very creamy it is matte you don't it doesn't transfer when it dries it doesn't feel so drying then I'll just take my hair and just kind of dab it in then the last part that I do for my lips since I'm kind of a little bit over it with the matte like just just matte I love using this NARS uh, lip gloss in the color stripped and I use it as like a topper Sometimes I'll use this alone, but I like to use it with it. And then again. Blend it all in. Now I'm going to take an eyelash curler, curl my lashes. We're almost done. I use e.l.f. eyelash curler literally a dollar and it works just as well as any eyelash curler for me a lot of people say don't ever curl your lashes after you put on mascara but i've been doing it for a long time and knock on wood i haven't had any problems so i'm just gonna curl them do it on the other side Then I'm going to take the Rimmel London Lash Accelerator Mascara. Again, this mascara is a lengthening mascara. It's 
So this is what I use after I curl my lashes. Then I just kind of go in and separate them. Oh, I have a little bit of mascara on my eyeshadow. If you ever get mascara on your eyeshadow, just kind of take a brush and like an eyeshadow brush and just do that. So then this is what the eyes should look like. Now finally, finally the moment that we've been um, been where it is the setting spray. I use elf setting spray um, Honestly for me, I don't know any difference on a setting spray, but I Used the L'Oreal infallible setting spray and I noticed my skin breaking out so so bad So and I've been using this for for pretty pretty long time like almost three years Three, three, four years, and it's worked wonders on my skin. I don't know about everybody else. I don't know how they feel. I honestly don't notice a difference with setting sprays other than L'Oreal Infallible setting spray. That made me break out so bad. I don't, I don't know what it was about it, but we'll just go ahead and set. Set it all be so wet and this is the final makeup look now this is my everyday makeup routine um, again if I just want to do something really quick and nothing too crazy not too cat eye or not the heavy liner I this is literally my go my go-to look I can do this look in probably 15 minutes but because I was filming and taking my time, probably took a long time. But this is what the eyeshadow and face looks like. Like, people, can can you tell me this highlight is very disrespectful right now? Like, it's disrespecting you guys. And I don't want it to disrespect you guys. But it's even disrespecting me. And I'm okay with it. I'm honestly okay with it. Rude and disrespectful. How dare you highlight? How dare you disrespect everybody? But I love it. I love this look. This is my favorite look. And I love how it brings out my eyes. So that is it for today's video. Um, again, go ahead and subscribe down below. Hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. Hit the notification so that way you are aware of when I upload the videos. Um, I don't have a routine yet of when a set schedule of when I'm going to upload videos. But hopefully you guys enjoyed my first makeup tutorial, my everyday makeup tutorial. Let me know uh, your comments down below what kind of next makeup look you guys want to see or if you guys want to do um for me to do a get to know me tag maybe you guys want to know uh, i don't know whatever just let me know in the comments down below i love you guys so much thank you guys for watching and until next time i will see you in the next video bye guys Mwah.